consider leaving Chad now. Chad could impose travel restrictions and block communication channels, and advised against travel within the country outside the capital city in Jemina. Chaz has the potential to become a new face in global tourism, but security is stopping all such developments. The U.S. State Department has ordered the departure of non-emergency U.S. government employees from the capital of Chad, Jemina, amid civil unrest and the threat of armed violence is likely, the U.S. Embassy in Chad said in a statement. According to Dr. Peter Tarlow, head of Safer Tourism and co-chair of the World Tourism Network Chad has been working on launching its travel and tourism industry. Chad has a unique opportunity and would bring an attractive cultural aspect to world tourism. Currently, advisors from Spain are in the capital city in Jemina to plan for options to open this currency-generating visitors industry for the country. Safer Tourism has been working on an evaluation. Safety and security, however, remains a major issue in Chad. Armed non-governmental groups in northern Chad have moved south and appear to be heading toward Njamina. Due to their growing proximity to Njamina and the possibility for violence in the city, non-essential U.S. government employees have been ordered to leave Chad by commercial airline. U.S. citizens in Chad wishing to depart should take advantage of commercial flights, the statement says. On Saturday, Chad's army said it had completely destroyed a column of rebels that attacked the country on the day of the presidential election last week. According to an AFP journalist, four tanks and several soldiers were deployed at the northern entrance of Njamina on Saturday evening, where military vehicles continued to drive towards the fighting. A week ago, members of the Libya-based rebel group Force for Change and Conquered in CHAD, FAC, claimed to have seized garrisons near Chad's northern borders with Niger and Libya without resistance. Chad is notorious for terrorist activity and illegal migration. In 2014, France launched Operation Barkhane in the Sahel, 